Lucas Media. Don't forget to smash the like button. Thumbs it up or thumbs it down if you're feeling it or not. And we got some news coming out of boxing. Terrence Bud Crawford basically said that he is not looking to fight Jerron Boos Ennis. Where he actually said, quote, where I'm at right now, I'm looking at fights that make the most sense. And that's not Boots. Canelo's going to bring way more legacy and way more to my bank account. Now, this is coming from former Undisputed in two different weight classes, undefeated Terrence Bud Crawford, who last fight was against Earl Spence Jr. last year, but he does have an upcoming fight in a couple of weeks. Jerron Boosters came off a spectacular victory uh, last week, and, you know, he's been looking to fight Terrence Bud Crawford. He's with Eddie Hearn, and I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. And, oh, one more thing. He also did say Turk Alashik. He told Turk Alashik that that's his dream fight. That's like a fight he got to have. I'm going to be honest to my Boots fans, and I like Boots. But he not Terrence not about to fight him right now. Boots does not have really what can Boots offer to Terrence Crawford? Because if Terrence Crawford beats him, what really changes? See, Terrence Crawford, he became undisputed at 140. Then he moved up. He called out everybody. Everybody was ducking him. Keith Thurman was ducking him. Danny Garcia didn't want no smoke with him. So on and so forth on the PBC side. So what? He starts knocking people out. He finally goes up against Sean Porter, beat Sean Porter easily. Has a filler fight, then destroys Earl Spence. So he's at the top of his apex. If he beats Boots, that does absolutely nothing for him right now. Now, Boots became undisputed, like Eddie Hearn was saying, and Boots could offer more to the table than I could I could see it. But I'm not going to let fans hold Terrence Crawford to a higher standard that y'all don't hold Canelo to. Canelo not fighting David Benavidez, and you don't see people out there screaming and calling and crying for the fight like they should. And Canelo has more to lose than David Benavidez. So why can't Terrence Crawford do the same thing? And plus, he's already at 154. Boots not finna move up to 154 right now. He finna clean up the division, which he should. He gonna clean up the division, become undisputed, then possibly move up. But by that point, Terrence Crawford gonna be retired. Terrence Crawford, he, he's probably gonna fight two, two or three more fights. Maybe Earl Spence. Maybe Earl Spence. Canelo, if Canelo actually offers him, but I don't think that that fight's gonna happen. Or Charlo. Uh, Jamel Charlo, not Jamal. Is it Jamal? I mean, Jamel. Jamel Charlo, who was former undisputed at 154 pounds. I don't see a scenario where they fight. There's not enough money. Now, if Turk Alashi can offer Terrence Crawford $40 million for the fight, I'm sure it'll happen. You know, him and Eddie Hearn come together. But at this moment, nobody's really calling for the fight. And a lot of people still don't know who Boots is yet. Yes, he is gifted. But the casuals do not know who Boots is at this moment. So... I don't see it happening anytime soon, if it ever were to happen. And I'm not going I'm not gonna be hard on Terrence Crawford because if we can hold Canelo to a different standard, we can hold Terrence Crawford to a different standard. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it and tell me what y'all think.